Hi guys, Colsey. Uh, today I'm playing another indie game from GameJolt.com and it's called Alice. And from the looks of it, it's a horror game. So let's get started. No go. Oh my shit, I love these. Oh, I, I remember why I picked it now. I saw this and I was like, oh, it's so cool. Right, let's do some stuff. Ash must have left me food. I hope he didn't get hurt. Probably did, he's probably dead. What candles? My candles, Alex brought them me. With his own birthday money, he could have spent it on himself. Is that it? Okay, yeah. There's a robot. Oh, fuck. Can I look at the fucking robot, man? Magazines? A pretty dress. This is my sister's old dress. It's pink and white with a small white satin bow on the back. I'm glad I still have this. My sister's teddy bear. I have one, but in a different color. Why did she leave me here? Why didn't you get there? Oh, I got sad already. Okay, right, I think let's leave. Sounds like an idea. Somebody's been drinking! Yeah, smash bottle. There seems to be blood on a few shards. It smells like strong alcohol. It's a bottle of wine! Let's see what I can do. Death's pretty good. I mean, you're not even touching it, but pretty good. Can we stop now? That was fun. Shut up, Alice, or I'll come and put you in hospital. That's not nice. Crap, sorry, I gotta keep it down. Okie doke. I'm on a computer. Well, what's the point in life? Put my finger in a plug socket? No, bread. Who leaves bread on the floor? I should be on the counter. There's a letter on the floor. It has your name on it. It looks crumpled as though somebody already tried to open it. Well, open it then, asshole. Why are you not picking anything up? You annoy me, Alice. Mum's favourite song. Who's playing that? Who, Whoever you are, stop. It's not funny. I bet it is my asshole stepdad. He likes to make fun of me and torments me by playing Mum's music and laying her clothes everywhere. He sounds like an asshole. Sophie's here. We can have some pizza. That was worse. Room 13. Unlucky. So now that I... It's there. So now that we all know all of the names of all the bones, we can beat the other schools at the quiz on our trip. Yes, Sophie. Do you have a question? Yep. Why didn't we go on our trip today? Uh, you are still dumb, Sophie. We couldn't go because we didn't know about the bones and names. Jeez. Asshole. Mia, that question was for me, not for you and Sophie. The reason we couldn't go was because the bus company got the dates wrong and thought it was for tomorrow and Mia. Uh, if you interrupt again, then I'll have to ask you to leave. I don't want to be like that, but I also don't want you interrupting. What's the place we're going to again? It's called a catacomb. That sounds so safe. That's why we learned about bones. What is a catacomb? Where dead bodies restored. Is it break yet? Shut up, dumbass. No one likes you. Okay, class, the bell has gone. Please stand up and give lunch. Now is the only time where you can read intros on the class room three characters. Please talk to Alex and say yes to progress. There's another intro. Oh, what the fuck? I don't care. Have fun and listen carefully to each intro. Oh, for fuck's sake. This is Jane. She's quite smart, but actually done for popularity. She also has a rich daddy. Daddy. She cares more about how she looks than her health. Okay. This is Mia, she's sport and lacks in smarts, but is very athletic and sly. Her daddy is a rich businessman and owner of a huge company. Who the fuck are you? Oh, fine, fuck you. This is Sophie, Alice's best friend. She's youngest in the class. She is very smart. Oh, that's a friend. She's 15 years old. This is Alex. He becomes very angry easily and loves his twin, Alice. Oh, that's my brother. Okay. He lives at a garage owned by a violent drug dealer called Mark. I heard about today and um, the cuts all over your wrists and bruises on your arm. Did he do this to you? Yeah, but I don't want to make a fuss over me. I'm fine, really. I just worry about you. You're my sister and we'll stay together. Come and live with me at Mark. Where do you live at Mark's with Alex? So I cut myself? That's great. When you come home from school... When you get home from school, Pack... I know that's wrong. Pack. We have to... Be quick getting out of there. I'll set a better for Mark. 
Four hours later. I gotta pack my stuff. I'll pick up my teddy last. Mom's wedding dress, I'm gonna take this. Who's got the wedding dress? Okay. Take some food. Nope. Take your candles. Nope. Hang up. Ah, itchy nose. Done. How many more things can I even take? Fuck it, let's take this teddy. I'll pick this up last. What is there to pick up? There's an invisible block here. Seriously, oh, sister's teddy. Uh, probably. My sister's teddy, I'm gonna take this. She put the pink teddy in your bag. I'll take it because mum gave it to me ages ago. Brown teddy. Mum! Mum, why are you here? Don't hate me, please don't leave me here. I love you, Alice. Stay here with me. Mum, if I stay, I'll die. He'll kill me. I love you, but I have to go for the best. <gasps> don't leave me, Alice. I love you. Your brother, Alice, can stay too. We will be happy family, but you don't want that, do you? She's not a nice lady. What was that? One second it was Mum, then a monster. Either way, whatever it was, may just be a part of my imagination. You hear shouting outside your window. It sounds like that. Alex, I bet he wants me to come outside so we can run away. I don't think she wants me to, but I'll die if I stay here. Maybe that's what she wants. Alex, hurry up, we need to go now, or else we're going to get caught by him. Shit, i got to go. I best be quiet. He's probably sleeping. Or screwing a hooker, or getting drunk. Either way, I don't car. I don't car. Do you car? I don't car. Why have you done that? Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Let's just break into all of these.